Mr. Rosenstein, did you threaten staffers on the House Intelligence Committee? Media reports indicate you did. Media reports are mistaken. Sometimes, but this is what they said. Having the nation's number one law enforcement officer threaten to subpoena your calls and emails is downright chilling. Did you threaten to subpoena their calls and emails? No, sir, and there's no way to subpoena phone calls. Well, I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm reading what the press said. I'm reading well, what the I, press said. I would said. suggest that you not rely on what the press says, sir. Well, I didn't ask if there's no way to do it. I asked if you said it. If I said what? What I just read you. No, I did not. Well, now, who are we supposed to believe? Staff members who we've worked with, who've never misled us, or you guys, who we've caught hiding information from us, who tell a witness not to answer our questions. Who are we supposed to believe? Thank you for making clear it's not personal, Mr. Jordan. <laughs> well, I, I didn't, I'm saying the you Department of Justice. believe me because I'm telling the truth and I'm under oath. If you want to put somebody else under oath and they have something different, I know these staff members. Respond. Here, here's, here's my last question. What's so important that you know that you don't want us to know, that you won't give us the documents we're asking for, that the House of Representatives is about ready to go on record saying you should give us? What's so darn important that you will threaten members, at least according to media reports and according to the staff members, threaten members? Parliamentary inquiry, Mr. Chairman. What is so important, Mr. Rosenstein? Parliamentary inquiry, Mr. Chairman.